previously on a very special Westminster Saves Christmas. The fellows rented out a church in North Hollywood to celebrate the winter holidays, but before the festivities could begin, Joey found a dusty grimoire in the Westminster Vault of Secrets, yes, that's a real thing, called The True Meaning of Xmas, which he promptly read aloud to everyone in an effort to instill some holiday cheer. In a stunning turn of events, the book only offered the three tenets of Christmas's true meaning. Be dope to each other, be a true braj for real, and take it sleazy. This coded answer infuriated certain members of the ensemble. However, unperturbed by the book's strange language, the fellows utilized the power of good singing and far apart harmony to indeed discover the true meaning of Christmas from within the pages of the old tome. Be dope to each other meant to be respectful to all people during the wintertime holidays. Be a true braj for real reminded the reader to be grateful and generous and loving to all people the entire year. And take it sleazy generously informed all in attendance to not be a jerk at Christmas dinner. Or, you know, not take yourself too seriously. Whatever, it's fine. With the book decoded and the Westminster Fellows in good spirits, harmony rang through the hall and everyone felt the spirit of the holiday season upon them. There was also artisanal pizza and cold beer at the end of the show. Now, let's check back in with the Westminster Fellows. One year later. Yeah, Mom. Nah, I'm still working from home. No, they decided they're not gonna let anyone into the office until after the new year. I know, it's crazy. Everything's crazy. I, I don't know, Mom. I'm not convinced getting together for the holidays is, like, super safe right now, anyway. I don't think going on an airplane is a super safe bet, either. I, I don't know, probably because it's like, you know, a giant flying tube with people just breathing germs all over each other 30,000 feet above the sea with no escape. Okay, well, I think you're underreacting. All right, gang, looks like we're wrapped up for today. Remember for next week to complete your interval exercise. And if you haven't turned your self-tape for the vocal portion, make sure to get that into me by tonight. Not tomorrow, but tonight. Brayden, Zayden, Graydon, looking at you guys. All right, gang, well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, Mom. Listen, I'm saying let's just, I'll circle back to this. We'll see how this looks in about a week, okay? I don't know, who knows? Maybe I can just come up and I'll sleep. I'll spend the night in the car. Alright? Alright, be safe. Love you too. Bye. Man. How can the holidays get any worse?
<sighs> okay, I'm getting tired. That's good, I'm getting freaking tired. Oh God. Man, how can the, the holidays, holidays get, get any, any worse? Oh, oh no, oh. Oh. Oh boy. I sure hope nothing weird happens. something that can help us out of this mess. God, not this again. Didn't we do this gag last year? I guess we're recycling our material now. <sighs> Classic Westminster. Hey, come on. I said relax. Guys, all right? Now, this thing got us out of a real pickle last Christmas season, and uh, I dare say that I think there might just be some magic left in that old silk hat. <laughs> or that old book, but... You know what I mean. Da, 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 da. Wow, the true meaning of the Xmas. Now, let's see here. Okay, true brush for real. Okay, in there. Be dope to each other. Lesson learned. Make it sleazy. Boring! Wait, what's he talking about? Oh, you weren't part of last year's Christmas show, were you? No, I wasn't. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's just part of a larger inside joke that I don't feel like explaining right now. Wait, but isn't it important that we- Ah, here we go. Appendix D. The power of cyber Christmas. What to do when you're stuck in a magical holiday Zoom meeting. We are stuck in the internet? I think I'm gonna hurl. Wait, this is an issue that's so prevalent it has its own appendix? Is this a normal problem? Hey, everybody calm down. The book says that in the event that a fermented, carbonated, wheat-based beverage is spilled on a computing device's keyboard within a fortnight of the winter solstice. Did somebody spill a beer today? Yo. Okay. Within the fortnight of the winter solstice, he and all individuals bound by the spirit of song and close harmony, that's us, right? Yo. Shall be transported with all swiftness to an unending internet purgatory and shall hitherto be bound to it until such a time that they discover how to overcome profound distance and celebrate the winter season through the magic of harmony. So we just gotta sing our way out of here, right? Very interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Justin, we got a couple holiday songs in our rep, don't we? Yes, Joey. In fact, I think we have just the thing. Villagers all this frosty tide, let your door swing open wide. Though we may follow and snow beside, let us draw in by your fire to try. Joy shall be yours, joy shall be yours in the morning. Here we stand in cold and sleet, blowing fingers, stomping feet. Come from far away to greet you by the fire and we in the street, bidding you join, bidding you join in the morning. Good 
Good man Joseph toiled through snow, saw the star or stable low. Mary could not further go. Joy and joy shall be hers. Joy shall be hers in the morning. Then joy they heard the angels tell, Joy and joy cry no joy. Creatures all as it befell, be in the stable made out of coal. Whoa! Frosty the snowman was a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me He led them down the streets of town right to the traffic cop He only paused a moment when he heard him holler stop Oh, Frosty the snowman had hurry on his way So he waved goodbye saying don't you cry I'll be back again someday Thumbity thump thump thumbity thump thump look at Frosty go. Thumbity thump thump thumbity thump thump over the hills of snow. Hey Frosty thumbity thump thump thumbity thump thump look at Frosty go. Thumbity thump thump thumbity thump thump over the hills of snow. Down through the village with a broomstick in his hand. Nope. Still in my square. I could use a sandwich. Hey, maybe this is crazy, but has anybody just tried, like, leaving their square? Let me try something. Nope. Still under the immeasurable power of an unsolvable curse. I could use a sandwich. I gotta tell ya, I'm stumped here, gang. Turns out this book turned out to be a big old zero. Guys, I think I think I have an idea. Listen, I'm the idea guy around here, so this better be good. Well, what if we sang something from the heart? A song about being together, even when far apart. Or appreciating the little things, the small rituals that we all have together, that we can be excited about, even when on our own. That way, we don't just celebrate the end of the year, we also celebrate... Heck. What happened? I forced muted him. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Hey, you guys wanna try something silly and stupid? It might work. Yes. Fine. Yes. Oh, very interesting. Get your tutus out, fellas. We're gonna need some funny dancing for this one. Uh, I don't think I'm comfortable with- I said dance! Oh, my God. 
cheer. I have a body of cheer all the time. I'm a cheer wizard. I'm a cheer man. I just, I have a constant supply of cheer coming out of my body and spirit all of the time. fool of myself again, but at least this time it was to Christmas music. Did anyone get out of their box yet? No. no. Shoot. Hey, maybe we should listen to what that Jacob guy was talking about earlier. Are you sure? I mean, it's probably gonna be all sweet and holiday cheery and gross. Yes, but I don't want to be stuck in the internet in the computer anymore. I'm starting to light this place up with my B.O. Justin, uh, can you unmute him? Fine. Hey, man. Huh? What? Sorry I muted you earlier. No worries. It's fine. I got distracted by cat videos anyway. Oh my god! Screen share! Screen share! Oh, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Very interesting. Very, very, very. Wait, I take it back. We cannot be distracted right now. Be gone, cat video! All right, so what were you saying before about holiday ritual stuff? Oh, that? Well, I guess what I was getting at was this holiday season is different from any other season in recent memory. We're all alone, probably away from our families and friends, 
We haven't even rehearsed together in nine months. Tell me about it. But it's good to remember that even though we're separated, we aren't really alone. Someone's thinking about us or saying a prayer for us or hoping we're doing all right. And even though we can't be together, making jokes or ringing chords or giving each other a hard time, it's important to know that we're all still here. That's kind of what the holidays are about. Friends, family, love, fellowship. These are the things that keep us afloat. These are the things that we can celebrate. That's what makes the holidays really special. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be
I'm home! I'm home! Oh, oh, oh Heavenly Spirit of Christmas time, be praised for the day! It's, the spirits did it! Oh, it's a miracle! But, you there! Boy! What's today? What? What's today, my fine fellow? Wednesday? It's Christmas Day? Oh, oh heaven be praised! And they did it! The spirits, they did it! They did it all one night! They could do anything! No, not, not Christmas. Christmas is Friday, next week. It's Wednesday, 16th. What? Okay, cool. Thanks, dude. Yep, have a good one. Merry Christmas, everyone. Dripping with Christmas cheer. You can't say that. You can't say that about a lot of people. You can't. You can't. You can't approach. You can't approach Joe Schmo on the street and just be like, "Oh, you you strike. You strike. You seem like a person. You seem like a person who's just dripping in Christmas cheer all the time, no matter what." You could come up to me. You could. You could come up to me. You could come up to me and say that. You can't just, you can't just approach, you can't just approach a stranger and say, you look like you're full of Christmas cheer all the time. You, you, they won't take that from you. They won't, they won't sit around, they won't sit around and think that's cute. They'll be, they'll be angry, or angry. I'm literally, I am Christmas magic. It's part of me. If you came up to me, if you came up to me in the street, if you came up to me in the Costco, and you were like, you seem full of the Christmas spirit, I would say, yes, thank you. Let's go. Please check out, I need to get my Kirkland Signature pizza. Because it's pizza time. But you would be too busy. You'd be like, oh, you've got so much. I've tangled this. I can't escape this now. in the morning. What are you making so much noise for? Oh, we're, we're saving Christmas. Oh, Christmas needs to be saved? Yeah, we do it like like every year, like for the show. Such a nerd. Keep it down. So I can sleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 